end it here, but it hasn't. No, it doesn't. There were a few angry crew members who didn't take too kindly to some flyboys taking the rail speeder car. <coughs> Fellas and Gander. That's right. And then there was a business about that missing engine. The one followed. That's right. And then they come to find out there was actually two missing engines. Uh, the ones from Bishop Falls. That's right. And then they come to find out there was actually two missing rail cars. The trip on trip back through Bishop Falls. That's right. Needless to say, the authorities were called in. Actually, it was just one cop. <laughs> one out of town cop coming to a camp of 900 men to issue a summons for having a good time. I don't think so. He wouldn't dare show his nose in Gander. He wouldn't show his nose in our house. Now see here, the law is the law. We don't turn a blind eye to a criminal offense. <coughs> no matter who committed the criminal offense, it is my civic duty to... One cop. One out-of-town cop from Grand Falls. Uh, 900 men. To inform you and... 900 men, you say? Yeah. I'll just lay this summons down right here. <laughs> Pick it up if you get a chance. Yeah. And then you go, and we'll go on to that. And now, in honor of Captain Fraser's first flight into Gander, I'd like to honor that moment in history with a song. Now, you might recognize the tune. We just changed the words a bit. In 1938, Fraser took a little trip along with a little fox Start again. Take two. In 1938, Fraser took a little trip in a little fox farm towards Gander Lake. The time he was making as a flyer, he was keen. Engineer by his side, thermos of caffeine. He was flying to take weather observations because there wasn't any of that on the go. His name was Captain Fraser and he was born a Tony. But we won't hold that against him because he told us where to go. Well, Gander, that is. New Airport. New Airport. Centrally located. Well, he looked along the lake, couldn't see it in his sights because he didn't have a map, couldn't see the northern lights. That didn't stop him from landing in the snow. He was the kind of guy to remind you of G.I. Joe. He was flying to take weather observations because there wasn't any of that on the go. His name was Captain Fraser and he was born a Tony, but we won't hold that against him because he told us where to go. No schools, no movie stars. Yet anyway, when he landed, no one was there to cheer, except for a couple of assistant engineers. What he started remains with us today. The data he collected helps pilots find their way. He was fine to take weather observations because there wasn't any of that on the go. His name was Captain Fraser and he was born a Tommy, but we won't hold that against him because he told us where to go. Gander, that is. Over the Commander Gander, Festival of Light, and the world's largest kitchen party. Yee-hoo! That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Validation, validation. <laughs> Stop!